Earlier today, Robbie caught up with some of our Blowfish players. Let's see what they had to say. What's going on, Blowfish fans? I'm Robbie Whittle, and I'm here with Sheldon Reed, and I'm going to ask him a few fun questions. Sheldon, how old were you when you hit your first time run? First real home run, I think I was nine in Little League, and I actually hit two in one game, so that was pretty cool. Awesome, awesome. All right, who do you think the better basketball player is, Kobe or LeBron James? I'm definitely going Kobe. More rings, just, just the GOAT. He is the GOAT. The GOAT. All right, and my last question for you is, who would win in a fight? Ten Mike Tysons or a full-grown gorilla? Ten Mike Tysons. It's a lot of heavy fists coming at you. All right, well, there it is. Thank you. I'm also here with Josh Sinner, and I'm going to ask him a few more fun questions, too. Josh, how old were you when you hit your first time run? Uh, I think I was like eight. Eight? Eight or nine, and like coach's pitch or, yeah, coach's pitch. Okay. Where was it? Uh, right across the street, actually. All right. Who do you think the better basketball player is, Kobe or LeBron James? LeBron. LeBron? Got to be. I'd go with LeBron, too. And my last question for you is, who would win in a fight? Ten Mike Tysons or a full-grown gorilla? Gorilla. Definitely gorilla. There it is. <laughs> Now I'm going to send it over to Robbie Whittle to talk to two more of our players. Thanks, Ashley. I'm here with Turner Scruggs, and I'm going to be asking him a few fun questions. All right, Turner, would you rather eat six brown bananas or two dog treats? Probably six brown bananas, mate. You know, I don't want to cramp up when I'm at, you know. Got to get that potassium in me, mate. I hear you. If you were stranded on a deserted island, what three items would you bring with you? Uh, probably my fishing pole, mate, so I catch some fish out there in case I get hungry. Uh, a volleyball, so I can make my own Wilson like in Castaway, and uh, probably Marshall's bed keep me uh, warm, like a big old blanket. I think my three things would be those. Yeah, I hear the fish are jumping out in the outback. For sure. And if you could be born in a different decade, which decade would you be born into? Oh, gotta go with the 80s, mate. <laughs> Love to dance, great time, great music, you know what I'm saying? I hear you, man, I hear you. Thanks for stopping by. Good day. Now I'm here with Houston Wright. Now Houston, would you rather eat six Brown bananas or two dog treats? Uh, probably two dog treats. Hopefully they have a good flavor dog treat and just get over really quick. I hear you. I hear you. If you could be born into any different decade, which decade would it be? Uh, probably 90s because the Tupac and Biggie Fuse really interest me, and I kind of want to live during that th time frame. So I hear you. Okay. And my last question for you is, if you were stranded on a deserted island, what three items would you bring with you? Uh, first thing would be a fish pole, obviously, to catch food. Uh, second, a big mattress, sleep on a mattress, have com comfort, and uh, lots of water to stay hydrated. All right, man. Thanks for stopping by. No problem. What's going on, Bluefish fans? I'm Robbie Whittle, and thank you for tuning in to the Coca-Cola On Deck pregame show. Tonight's matchup features your Lexington County Bluefish along with Gastonia Grizzlies. When the Bluefish last played the Gastonia Grizzlies, we beat them 14 to five. Tonight at the Lex, we have Dollar Bud Lights through the middle of the seventh inning. Let's turn it over to Wesley Ann Hardy for the Meet the Fish segment. I'm also here with Josh Gregory, and I'm going to be asking him some questions too. All right, Josh, would you rather have slow internet every time you open your internet browser or be stuck in traffic every time you got behind the wheel? I would say uh, stuck in traffic because if you're stuck in traffic, you can still listen to your music, things like that, and uh, everything through the internet nowadays. Man, you got it. I hear you. I hear you. Tiger Woods and Kobe Bryant both began their careers in 1996, one in the PGA and one in the NBA. Who do you think the more successful athlete of the two is? Um, that's a tough one, but I'm going to have to go with Kobe Bryant because of the NBA being more uh, publicized and things like that, and he's getting more attention and stuff, so I'm going to have to go with Kobe Bryant. I hear you. He does have the shoes and the rings. Exactly. My last question for you is, what's the furthest you travel for a baseball game? Uh, the furthest, uh, me and my summer team, we want to travel to the Dominican Republic for a week. We had to fly. I forgot how long it was, but... Uh, yeah, that would Every be bit of it right there. That's exciting. It was yeah. kind of like a vacation for you too, I'm guessing. Yeah, it was pretty dope. We kind of like spread the word in the Dominican and uh, played baseball and got to share our stories with those kids down there, man. It was pretty cool. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by, Josh. Thank you. I'm also here with James, and I'm going to ask him a few more fun questions too. All right, James, what's your favorite gum? Uh, definitely original uh, Trident. All right. All right. What's your most expensive Uber bill? The uh, NFC Championship game going back from Lincoln Financial Field back to St. Joseph's. All right, how much was it? 
around remember? sixty dollars, sixty-five dollars, I think. Wow, yeah. that's pretty steep, man. <laughs> All right, and if you could sit on the bus with one teammate, who would it be? It's got to be Ashley Smith, just because his southern accent makes me laugh all the time. All right, there it is. Thank you so much, James.